Hey everybody, welcome back to Fjordland! My name is Ben Pope, as you can see, I had to do an intro uh, and we're gonna continue with the recording I did last time to put in the blimps and you can see them flying there in the distance but I wanted to, since I'm doing the intro, I wanted to show you a little bit of a change uh, to this intersection so we what did I do um, well besides the big funky fountain in the center which you can download and put in any roundabout the roundabout isn't very round anymore it's now kind of an oval and um, I made six lane one ways and um, all around and out here is an eight lane road and it's a lot more clear now before it was pretty stuffed up and busy and i was thinking gee i'm gonna have to make like other connections from the highway to there somehow uh because we were not keeping up with all the traffic and a lot of the traffic is coming off of the highway as well as from this section and everybody's kind of taking this route in besides the guys that are coming across from here which there's not as many, um, you know, and there, there's quite a few taking this exit, so that's fine. But there's not as many as people coming from this side. So yeah, if um, if it does get if it gets worse again, then we'll have to maybe connect the highway from there to the um, across the water here somehow. There is a road that connects to that main. Uh, motorway or freeway and so we can use that setup to get people across maybe bridge across over here and connect them to which I might do that still anyway so then people have different options are coming up to uh, the main part of Old Town so at times it will get busier uh, there's a lot of the lane changes is what's interesting so I went into um, I think it's a transport manager, uh, president's edition, that's what it is. And you go to lane connector and I made sure that people don't change lanes out here. So they stay on their lanes. Um, so you, for example, you would go and select it and then say, okay, you only go straight. So you're not going to change lanes that way, that way, that way. But this I left because people do change lanes when they, once they come in. Uh, so, through the circle uh, interchange, there is some connections that I played around with. I'm not going to go through all of them, but just kind of getting people spread out as they come in. And then, uh, see, I'm even laggy a little bit as all this is happening, because I'm telling them to like stick to the lanes and so on. And, yeah, um, also lots of people were walking across and then going all the way out there and you see how hard that is <laughs> um, so I put in some bus lanes and buses are uh, stopping here to take them out and then they're bringing them back here and also going inside but they're still deciding to walk because it's shorter for them to walk in this bus than having to wait for the take the bus from there and go around I, I'm not sure I might have to revamp what that's doing um, one thing is happening, I think, clearly over here, people are using one lane. So there's still stuff like that we have to worry about. Um, also, I don't like how many people are taking this over this. So I might change like the speed limit or something. That's one thing you can do. There's a few things you can do. We can make it priority road or change the speed limit. Um, we're going to make it like 10 miles an hour through there. So then people are going to be uh, kind of, you know, not really looking forward to using it, hopefully. Um, because they have, with the lane connector, they have the option here to go, let's click. Uh, so they can go right or straight uh, from all of these. And some cars are despawning apparently. And uh, I really would rather have them go that way and then take a right over there um, than go through here. So I might even 
I might even disconnect that one. Let's say you're not gonna take her right there anymore, and maybe you can use both of those lanes or something. There we go. Yeah. And then... Yeah, I don't know. Because those two... See, this is also the dilemma you run into. Um, these can actually... So you're gonna go right only, you're gonna go... Forward... And right. Have some combination here and I think because that's 10 miles an hour now it's gonna make people sort of be less likely to use it uh, it might be too slow but anyway uh, I meant to not do that but yeah uh, we're gonna get right back to the recording I had from before because um, that's what the theme of today is it's all about blimps so, here we go. Alright, so we're looking at the Blimp Depot, and we're in the Skogs Dallin area again. This is going back in time a bit, remember? And we're pacing down the Blimp Stop. We're gonna briefly look at how it looks like. Um, just a basic place where the Blimps will kind of land. And we want to make something different about where this Blimp Stop is gonna be. It's not just gonna be like the stop next to the road uh, especially the main road because then we'll create extra extra traffic we don't want so i'm uh, using the space in here for a little bit of a i don't even know what to call it uh, a place for that and uh, now we're looking for where to put the depot itself and this seemed like a good spot to me i don't know if i'll need a lot more space or this space for anything else and that's how it looks like. Blimps will come out of there. Uh, we're starting to get houses or cabins popping up. And we're going to search for a uh, good space for the blimp stop on the other side of town in the um, old town of Midland. I thought the spot here next to our tram depot would be a good place because, well, I don't know why. So we have to make blimp pathways kind of the same as we did with the fairies um, back and forth on the water so the blimps are going to come out this way and connect to that stop and then uh, I'm having them fly over the village by the island which is all fancy with tourist attractions and then across and um, I figured it will go sort of curve in and they, they kind of stop in the air and then land down nicely so they're not like coming and flying at high speed or anything uh, and then we put the lines in and we select oh I don't even know what we can select how many number of vehicles and so on oh, I'm setting the uh, passenger capacity and the maintenance cost down on the left side it kind of pass by quick there um, but that's our first look at the blimps and we have educational uh, advertisements on so it says books are the way to the wisdom not to wisdom to the is that what it says I think it says wisdom um, so yeah it, you could go first person view on it. Um, it the blimp itself is jumping and you're not so the camera that's on the blimp isn't working properly but anyway um, we're gonna watch it kind of do its thing. Uh, multiple blimps are coming in now. And so the capacity on it is 35. Is one of the things I had issues with because uh, once this got popular, you'll see pretty much a lot of people waiting uh, almost right away. And um, oh well, we'll have to play around with that. But um, so six passengers enter the blimp and we're gonna watch it fly across if you look at the bottom uh, on the ground we have still need of population for all the industry and the cabins are coming up I am looking at different options maybe not having cabins here by the water there's all sorts of other uh, houses available for download and I've already grabbed a few that we're gonna use uh, around the area and maybe I'll leave this 
Coke Island Village, you know, big enough there with the farms, with cabins all around. Uh, once they upgrade all the way to the fifth level, they look pretty good. They won't be those big clunky ones, so I guess I could just remove those and not complain about them. Um, yeah, so we're speeding up a little bit, flying across by the awesome island. And uh, this area is going to be like a lot of commercial and uh, hotels and so on. Maybe more of a downtown uh, shopping center. Um, and then across the highway next to Old Town, we'll just put more residential and um, possibly some attraction places like theater and, you know, I don't know, cool things like that. Uh, so, I guess this is the second bloop, not the first one. But you see how it um, waited for that one to leave and then it's arriving slowly. And there's tons of people waiting at the bottom. Um, kind of makes it a little bit... Like, I was already questioning, like, hey, uh, are they all going to fit in here? Because the space is pretty small. Um, so, yeah. No. 35 people went in and it's taken off and there's still about the same amount as we had before waiting down there. Um, yeah. We're going to look at a couple of options here and pretty much change the capacity. 70. Once we change that, the maintenance cost goes up too. And although we don't really mind spending money, we're gonna lower it down a little bit so we make sure we make money from this uh, trade. It's gonna be, you know, blimps going, money making. Why not? Our money right now is in the hole, but um, that's what it is. We're moving uh, the thing, the stop. Just slightly left because I want to fit in a tram stop and we're gonna end up actually end up making our own type of tram stop here people are walking uh, from just across to get to the blimp so I figured I'll put a tram in uh, hopefully that will get them using the tram more they could hop in and uh, come across to here in the next episode I'm pretty excited. Um, I found, well, they've been on line available for a while now, but I found new roads that have trams. Um, somebody made them. I think his name is Bad Peanut. So if you just search for tram roads, um, you'll get all sorts of options. There's even like six lanes with trams and bikes and buses, and we're totally gonna use those. So we, we made this little um, contraption. Well, it's already been made, but we placed it down and I'm paving the road or the area. Um, the problem is it's, it's kind of leaving it kind of jagged at the edge. So I'm placing this uh, recycling center little pub, kind of making it all blend together there. There's not much that's going to go in that area. So um, the recycling hub should help. Now... There was a lot of um, back and forth ideas of maybe bringing a line and having a stop there, but I decided to add a new one. And uh, we're going to have it stop by the hospital, uh, go around, and it's going to go turn around at uh, Tram Junction Hotels, which is a neat spot to turn around. It's going to have stops there, just because, and then it's going to come all the way around, have a stop close by, and then... Uh, right at the blimp stop so uh, basically it's old town to blimp it's kind of connecting the things together um, you can get a lot more elaborate with the names of uh, transport lines but that seems like it was good enough for me and I'm selecting my favorite tram not the standard one um, and that's gonna help with traffic a little bit um, but as you can see it's just busy in that intersection uh, and I'll have to figure out something else we can do to this and I, this is like one of my main fights 
is having intersections that work. I don't know. Anyway, so people are still walking here. They're not waiting for the tram. Um, it's kind of annoying. There's possibly lots of people. 79 people waiting at the blimp line. Um, 82, 83, climbing and climbing. 88, 90. That might teach you how to count even. Uh, so if we go to the blimp line and uh, look at it, we have 70 people waiting. Oh, 70 people on one blimp because that's our capacity. 110 waiting there. And only 7 on the other side, but that makes sense. People are riding up from here, probably trying to get to work on the other side. And they're just not coming back yet. So I'm going to increase our amount of blimps. Um, and see if that works. We can always play with um, the amount of vehicles. I just didn't want too many of them in the air. I'd rather have the capacity higher. So, um, there should be fine. Uh, so now that I added even more trams on this road, there's quite a backup for here. I should probably find like a road with multiple lanes and the tram one way versus just um, two lanes with tram one way. I think that's the need. That's what I need there. Um, but yeah. So it's going pretty good. The blimps are popular. There's even a monorail driving by, which I think are, I'm running for no reason because there's absolutely nothing going on on the other side of that line. Uh, but these blimps, man, look at that. Uh, people are loving it. And I mean, he, he's not bringing back many people, but he's unable to keep up, you know. Like, I wouldn't mind if they picked up everybody at the same time and take them away. Uh, lots of people are, seem seems like, yeah, those people are waiting at the tram stop right now, but this tram didn't pick up anybody, so that's quite unfortunate. Um, the other option is, since people are still walking, is to add uh, buses over here too, which I will do in a little bit. But I'm just kind of like going, wow, there's so many people that want to use this blimp. It's pretty cool. Uh, it says passenger service last week, 254, and we just started. We might have had like just a few days of last week that actually days passed by pretty quick. Um, but look at all those people coming in. Uh, we're gonna add uh, walkways across or from here to there so they can maybe cut through and um, we might even build something in that spot right there. Um, it's kind of big blank canvas. Maybe a park of some kind. Um, right by the stop there isn't anyone there for the tram right now but that's okay. Blimps are filling up as quick as they come. Um, yeah, out they go. We're making we're making money. Obviously, um, earnings are up. Uh, down to fifty five in the stop. So that's we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Uh, people are still walking quite a bit. So if we look at where they're walking to, they're just going over to that bus stop which is interesting like why you know i guess if they were to take the tram out there uh they would have to stop behind the hospital and then walk across to the bus stop so they're saving money doing some exercise on their on, on their on their own while they're walking uh this road is very busy out here oh well um we'll deal with that later so the tram isn't very effective, it's only bringing in a few people back and forth. Uh, there's still quite a few people walking, quite a few people, like Katie Alexander over here, she's like, you know what, I'm just gonna walk. And there's another Katie, Reed. So we're gonna hit fast forward and put in a bus uh, terminal. The little bus terminal didn't fit by the tram, so I'm gonna place it on the other side. Um, I was debating whether I should put it there or not, but it should work. So we're gonna add a stop 
right next to that stop where they were all walking from. Um, actually, I just extended that stop. Never mind. That's what I did. I did it too quick. Yeah. And uh, I noticed that people are not walking through the hospital parking, let's say. So because I have anarchy, I can just draw some walkways through there. Another interesting thing is that those offices are not building on the side. I don't know why. I might change the zoning. So already people are walking through, which is good. It's going to cut back on their commute a little bit because they can cut through that parking lot. It's normal. This is still busy, but it's not as busy as before. And that first initial entry of all the trams made it super busy. Uh, but yeah, it looks like people are just using one lane. Um, stuck behind everybody. Uh, technically, there's a lot I could do to maybe change it right away. Uh, but I'm just waiting to see how it continues. It's not busy otherwise on the road ahead. Uh, so if we just remove the stop light, that should help. So we did that and we should see it work better. Look at all the people walking across through there now. That's great. So uh, they're going, yeah, they're just still walking because there's not a bus options to everywhere. He is still walking over there. I guess the bus isn't helping. Um, maybe because the bus isn't going from here to that spot. It's coming from there to here. Anyway, something like that. Um, the bus is bringing 44 people, so that's not bad. That's pretty good, right? Uh, the passenger capacity is a lot bigger. I mean, if we can fit 140 on the bus, we should probably put more in the blimp. Although the blimp itself is mostly just hot air and the, the cabin is very small. Uh, all those people just got out, but no graphic of them getting out. That's brilliant. Um, also, I don't like how it's uh, the buses have to go around at the end of the road and turn around and come back. So I'm going to move this down a little bit to kind of make it so uh, it looks more natural for the bus to just turn in. Um, it still does a little bit of, you know, U-turn back there. So we're going to bring the road in again. We might use this road to continue underneath the freeway and um, uh, go across, you know, to connect to the neighborhoods there. Um, so, hey look, the monorail has zero passengers. Yay. I'm making no money. That tram is bringing one passenger. That's great. It's all good. It should pick up once we get more uh, things happening in the area. We're going to build a lot more around here. So, um, but this specific tram line probably has too many trams right now because there's just, you know, two, five, one person waiting. So we're going to cut back a little bit. It should be okay. We're going to cut back to, I think it's going to be like three vehicles instead of five. I don't remember what I was doing here. But yeah, 50%, uh, less than 50% should be like two vehicles instead of five. I think. Okay, so... We're just kind of waiting around to see how this goes. Some of the trams are gonna go back to their depot. And, um... I'm pretty much waiting for another bus to see how they're bringing people. There's still a busy blimp stop, which is good. We like to see that. We're not going to complain. There's a bus coming with 31 passengers and uh, we have some people waiting here and there. There's not too many. But, you know, four buses on that should be okay. We don't want them to wait too long either. Looks like some people are waiting at the bus stop for the bus, so that's good. Yeah, there's just a lot of people 
using this blimp. So the blimps are a success. If you don't have blimps um, in your city, and I mean, obviously, like, we could make this these things go everywhere because you can just put um, uh, multiple stops. You can obviously have a lot of uh, blimp stop could have a lot of lines to it. So yeah. Too bad that that bus is leaving empty-handed. Let's go across and look at things, um, how they are in Skogstown. We forgot to put some water there and um, other than that, things are fine. Uh, we're getting our cabins to grow. Some of them don't look that great, but this is like a level one, so it's going to upgrade. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. I think usually if it's level 4 and above, they're pretty good looking as far as cabins go. While everything else is happening, I want to fill in this little section. This little section is going to be uh, more housing and um, I think we need more schools. Uh, the high school itself is enough, but way more elementary schools. That fire station could have a better spot, uh, but I just couldn't think of one, so it's gonna stay there. And um, of course, we have to add water. We I still haven't figured out. If you remember last episode, we had a problem with our uh, electrical. Um, what's it called? Those power plants and how they need uh, actual water pipe connection and uh, I, I didn't realize that so I will eventually I was thinking of putting in a second high school but then I was like wait I don't really need it there's just one tiny spot um, even if I put a tiny spot right there uh, if you see on the road there and uh, uh, pretty much the only reason it's not getting a uh, connection to the school is because this road isn't connecting together with the other one. Uh, so as soon as I connect this, I should be fine. Uh, the road construction itself sometimes is buggy, but that's because I have all those mods that interfere with it. Um, it's still not there and that's because there's a tiny road piece that if it connects then it's better um, yeah instead of them having to go on the roundabout and then back this way we just kind of have an intersection there and we should be good there we go now we're connected we have schools everywhere So it's going to be part of the same district. We're going to make it so houses are facing inside and not towards that main road. Um, which we shouldn't need any bigger road than that because it's a fairly small area. This is when I realized that hey, this is just saying I don't have enough water as in connect some pipes to it. Dummy. And I was, I was thinking maybe like it's something else like the oceans not deep enough I don't know what I was thinking about because I I put in power and things uh, at the beginning and then forget about it and I forgot that power plants need water connection oh well the main reason of uh, putting them out there is because I wanted this area to be more like a beachfront home area and we didn't want the power plants there. Uh, even though we have the sewage water treatment plants not far away, that's fine. It should be good. So these are probably forever gonna not have enough workers as well as these. But we are trying. We're trying. Um, we have some freight trains coming in once in a while. I caught a glimpse of a few. Um, there is potential for 
more parks. I'm gonna use this uh, playground that's shaped as a castle. We're gonna put it by the school a little bit and then connect a uh, walkway just to the school. It's a tiny school. It's a Dutch school, that's what it's called. And I like it. I think it fits well with um, the theme of our area. Again, I, maybe it would be better if I didn't have cabins all the way to the water, so I might change that. Um, this whole square could use a cool um, big park or one of these unique buildings. And I was thinking of the Lazarette Plaza. Apparently it um, celebrates poor health. So, and um, you know, it's just, it's just a thing, a statue with people and we're going to make it look presentable. We're going to sort of, you know, have something else around the two. Uh, walkways are good uh, for everyone to get through and about better. Uh, this blimp stop is actually pretty busy too. And the people are walking, if you look at the bottom of the screen there, people are walking from who knows where uh, to get to the blimp stop. That's really what they're doing. So I figured, oh man, I gotta put buses in here too. I don't know. But look, see so they're walking all the way across. And if we select one of them and look at their uh, traffic or their route, they, they go straight there. So of course, new uh, people coming down the road, they might use the paths we just put in. But these guys have already been walking, so they were not going to change their pathing. Uh, one bus stop is going to be from the ex existing uh, stops we have there and I figured at this point we might as well use another one of these connectors to put people in and I was like oh, seriously you have to go do a u-turn you can't just like take a left inside this place uh, and apparently that's just what they're gonna do they're not gonna they're not gonna yeah they're just gonna go down to the end and so you have to put this bus stop thing at an intersection like almost all the time uh, but then even if I put it on this side, uh, yeah, it's, they're still going to go. They're still going to go around. So, um, we're just playing with things, we're trying things out. So even, yeah, I, I mean, I put um, crosswalk there. Obviously, that's not going to help, so we're going to remove it. If it was to get removed. Um, so, I think that will just have to be, you know, they'll just have to do a u-turn i don't know what can i do uh what i can do is add another bus line to this section of skulksdalen which we don't have a bus line to and um trying to make it go all around practically and back uh i think yeah, this is gonna be called Skogstalen. Uh, and I something with the the beach, long beach, long shore. I was gonna say long beach, but I picked the word shore. Uh, the reason I said that is because there's another section of town on this side um, that needs a bus connection, and it kind of had to be separate from the other one. So this is gonna probably be. Uh, one that you know is less used and shorter so we're gonna we're gonna call it Skogs Island short short really brilliant right there we go uh, we select the type of fuel uh, the type of bus we want the buy fuel bus I do have to check to see if there's better uh, like electric buses or something See, that blimp line has quite a few people as well. And there's a lot of our cabins. A log of cabins for all. 
It does kind of feel good. It does kind of look good. Because um, it's, you know, the mountain right behind us. So I, I kind of like it. I don't know. I'm still kind of thinking about it. You guys, you guys tell me what I should do. Um, so we're going to wait here for a cool ending uh, screenshot for the blimps coming in. And look at all the buses and trams and people walking around. I thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to share with others. Uh, let, me, let me know what you think. If I should change anything. If I should change the houses over there by the beach. And um, let me know what you think of all the funky intersections that are causing problems and so on. I think we're fixing most of them. Yeah. What else can we say? It's good. It's, it's looking good. We're going to expand a ton as soon as we can. And uh, things are going to be awesome. Yeah. Uh, looking at this again, it, it's getting even busier. But you know what? That's just life. That's just life. Um, I think... I think I'm going to take one more look at uh, budget and increase increase the budget for just to get more vehicles on. And if that's still not enough, then we will definitely up the amount of people that could go inside the blimp. I thought 70 was a good number. Yeah. If you look at the blimp uh, as it's coming down, that small part underneath is the actual uh, place where people will sit and the rest is just a balloon. There you go. So yeah, that's it guys. Don't forget to hit the like button uh, and support the channel whatever way you can. And I'll see you soon, soon, soon. Have a good day. Ciao.